Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're talking about the big F word, failures. Failures are often seen as setbacks or negative experiences, right? But you got to remember, they play a crucial role in personal development. Understanding and embracing failures can lead to significant growth, resilience, and self-improvement. The importance of failures and personal development can be analyzed through several key perspectives, and we're going to talk about those today. Learning opportunities, resilience building, fostering creativity, enhancing self-awareness, and driving motivation. Today on the Productive Not Busy podcast. You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. Okay, so learning opportunities. One of the primary benefits of failure is the opportunity it provides for learning. When we fail, we are often forced to confront our mistakes and our shortcomings, right? This confrontation can be and lead to a deeper understanding of the areas where we need improvement. For instance, a student who fails an exam may realize that they need to develop better study habits or seek help in a particular subject from tutoring. This process of reflection and analysis is crucial for personal growth as it helps individuals identify and address their weaknesses. So failure can teach valuable lessons about problem solving and critical thinking. When a strategy fails, it prompts individuals to think about alternative approaches and solutions. This kind of adaptive thinking is essential in both personal and professional life, as it cultivates a mindset geared towards continuous improvement and innovation. That leads us to resilience building. Resilience. That's the ability to bounce back from setbacks. This is critical in the aspect of personal development that is often built through failure. Experience and failure can be challenging, but it also provides an opportunity to develop mental and emotional strength. Resilience in certain individuals are better equipped to handle adversity and are more likely to persist in the face of difficulties. The process of overcoming failure teaches perseverance and determination. It shows that setbacks are temporary and that success often requires sustained effort and dedication. This lesson is particularly important in the world where instant gratification is often emphasized, right? We all know about that. Learning to cope with failure helps individuals develop a long-term perspective and a greater tolerance for the ups and downs in life and business. So how do we work on that? Well, we got to foster our creativity. Failure can also foster creativity and innovation. So when conventional methods fail, individuals are often pushed to think outside the box and explore new ideas. This creative problem-solving process can lead to breakthroughs and discoveries that would not have been possible without the initial failure phase. For example, many successful entrepreneurs and inventors have faced numerous failures before achieving success. Thomas Edison, right? That guy famously failed thousands of times before inventing the light bulb. I'm glad he kept trying. Saw each failure as a step closer to success. This mindset encourages experimentation and risk-taking, which are essential components of creativity and innovation. That leads us to enhancing our self-awareness. Failure can significantly enhance self-awareness, which is a crucial component of personal development. When individuals fail, they're often compelled to examine their actions, their decisions, and their motivations. This introspective can lead to a better understanding of one's strengths, weaknesses, values, and what? Goals. 
Self-awareness is essential for personal growth because it enables individuals to make more informed decisions and align their actions with their true selves. It also fosters emotional intelligence, which is the ability to understand and manage one's emotions and the emotions of others. Super important. High emotional intelligence is associated with better relationships, effective communication, and overall well-being. Well, now the big one, driving motivation. Failure can be a powerful motivator. While it may initially lead to feelings of disappointment or frustration, it can also ignite desires to prove oneself and achieve success. This drive can be particularly strong when individuals feel compassionate towards others and feel a passion about their goals and are determined to overcome the obstacles. The motivational power of failure is evident in many success stories. Athletes who lose a game may train harder and develop new strategies to improve their performance next time. Similarly, professionals who experience a career setback may seek additional training or mentorship to advance their skills and their knowledge. In these cases, failure serves as a catalyst for renewed effort and determination. Don't ever forget about the next step, though. You've got to build humility and empathy. Experiencing failure can also build humility and empathy, which are important traits for personal development. When the individuals face their own shortcomings, they are reminded of their limitations and the need for continuous learning and improvement. This humility can also lead to more balanced and grounded perspective on life. Moreover, individuals who have experienced failure are often more empathetic towards others who are struggling. They understand the challenges and the emotional toll that failure can bring, which can make them more compassionate and a better and supportive friend, a better colleague, and a better leader. Empathy is a key component of emotional intelligence and is essential for building a strong and positive relationship. Last but not least, you got to cultivate a growth mindset. Failures are integral to cultivating a growth mindset, a concept developed by a psychologist named Carol Dweck. I think you've heard me talk to about her before. A growth mindset is the belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through a dedication and hard work. Individuals with a growth mindset view failures as opportunities, not obstacles to learn and grow rather than as a reflection of their inherent abilities. Okay, so I'm going to leave you some real world examples. We've got to remember, history is chock full of examples of individuals who used failure as a stepping stone to success. Steve Jobs, for one, he was the co-founder of Apple, if you didn't know that, who was famously fired. He was ousted, voted out from his own company, only to return years later and lead it to stratospheric success. His initial failure taught him valuable lessons about leadership, innovation, and perseverance, which then gave him renewed vigor and drive to succeed the next time around. And everybody knows about J.K. Rowling by the way, who handwrote on paper all of the Harry Potter books before she typed them. She says typing them up front helped lose some of the creativity, so she handwrote it. She faced numerous rejections from publishers before her books became global phenomenons, right? So her persistence in the face of failure demonstrates the importance of believing in the vision and continuing to strive for success despite the setbacks. So in conclusion... Failures are essential for personal development. They provide valuable learning opportunities. They build resilience, foster creativity, and enhance self-awareness. They also drive motivation and cultivate humility and empathy, which you have to have all of those. By embracing failure as a natural and a necessary part of life, individuals can develop these skills and the mindset needed to achieve their goals and reach their full potential. So rather than fearing failure, we should view it as a powerful tool for growth and self improvement. You guys take care, be safe, sell a bunch, and find somebody and say something nice.